a cybersecurity influencer calling out other cybersecurity influencers. The irony of this video. Okay, the overall lessons of this video. Be careful who you listen to. Always do your research. Formulate a plan based off your own circumstance and situation. And of course, most of the stuff you can learn on the internet is free. So be wise. Taking a look at cybersecurity on YouTube, you'll find a lot of clickbait titles, thumbnails, and topics related to cybersecurity careers, specifically getting into cybersecurity. You've got the infamous zero to six figure videos, the get started in cybersecurity in 90 days, or cybersecurity free certifications and whatever. And then of course, the infamous cybersecurity courses. There's plenty of them. Now, look, I hate the word influencer. I think a majority of people hate the word influencers, even influencers themselves. And I really have been contemplating whether to create this video as it's not really constructive or, or productive in this channel, but something has been irritating me for a while. Uh, I don't mean to come off as a gatekeeper or someone has being negative, but you know, I don't know. There's something within the last couple of years, as I've seen on this YouTube space, and there's an irritation that I have. I take no issue with promoting cybersecurity careers. They have awesome benefits. The, really the two main irritations that I have is portraying very unrealistic expectations on what cybersecurity looks like in the day to day. And then you have the overly priced content selling the so-called golden shovel, which is basically a dream. And this is the classic influencer dilemma, selling people information. Expanding on my first point here, cybersecurity, is a, it's a great career. Uh, you have a lot of highly rewarding activities and work that you can do, and it's highly in demand. I mean, if you look at some of my videos on my YouTube channel, I've talked about these aspects. The irritation that I take in is that it's kind of normalized this whole idea of like, you know, cybersecurity, six figure income, uh, you know, getting a job in 90 days. And, and if you don't have a six figure income or don't have a job in 90 days, or, you know, the certifications aren't working that you've gotten, well, you aren't alone. I mean, I think a large majority of people are in that position. And, you know, obviously know your worth. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean that you should be taking pennies. But from my point of view, uh, the security industry, it's difficult to navigate. And you aren't alone if you're in that position. Oftentimes, these videos, these pieces of advice, they sell you the whole idea of this golden shovel or dream, basically an overly priced cybersecurity course. And they paint these unrealistic expectations on what the day-to-day -day looks like. I mean, cybersecurity, it's fun, but it's also demanding, boring, and uh, it can be challenging. The additional irritation that I have is that it, cybersecurity courses or online e-learning content, it's, it's so overly priced. I mean, look, I take no issue with being rewarded for your efforts, coaching services, sponsorships, courses. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. You have to make a living. People want to be compensated, including myself. And uh, it, it, it's a valid way to make money. I mean, you can even see my history on this channel. I released a course four years ago, and I asked way too much for it at the beginning of the launch. And I, I realized it's not that it wasn't worth what I was asking. It was more so that I wanted to market to individuals who could actually afford it, uh, rather than, you know, trying to basically screw over people. Um, so, you know, and look, I also have sponsorships and perhaps I may release some additional courses in the future. Uh, but I always try to keep affordability in mind. If you take a look at Black Hill Information Security or Hammond with their pay what you want courses, I think that's a great model or even just like something that's very affordable. It makes a lot more sense. I'm seeing so many YouTube channels promoting courses in the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars range. And look, to each his own with how they want to price their content, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but you can go out and get so much more value for your dollar over one influencer course. I mean, look at, take a look at the three $500 range, for example. You can subscribe to tons of e-learning platforms like uh, subscription to Udemy or Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, uh, Plone Labs, Cyber Defender. I mean, there's just so many different cool platforms out there. And it just doesn't really make much sense with just like one influencer course, in my opinion. You can get a lot more value for your dollar. So my unsolicited opinion here is if you're an individual who's just beginning in this career path, I personally would not spend over $100 on a generic how to get started in cybersecurity course. 
maybe a course that's highly specialized, hands-on, technical, perhaps that's worth a lot more money. But I mean, just like a generic career course, in my opinion, over a hundred bucks is, is, is too much. The hundreds of dollars that you could be spending on one influencer course could go towards those e-learning platforms or a set of certifications, or perhaps even, you know, if you look at degrees, it, there's just so many more options out there that you can do that will like get you uh, a lot more value and not to forget I mean the internet is free you can literally learn anything online for free uh, so that that's just something you you should probably be aware of if you are interested in in this career and I totally understand how overwhelming it is to get started in cybersecurity I mean like where do you start um, and the value proposition of these courses and, and like look including mine I'm kind of a hypocrite here but including mine is that it, it helps you with a structured plan however um, if you conduct lots of Google searches and you formulate a plan based off your own situation and, um, you know, your financial situation, you can find a lot of the content online for free and, and learn a lot of the technical skills right when, you know, writing on a website, for example. The overall message of this probably pointless rant of a video is be careful who you listen to. I mean, specifically, be careful what you buy. Everyone's situation is going to be different, including yours and mine. And you have to create a learning plan, in my opinion, that's best suited for your situation. Uh, don't get sucked into someone trying to sell you a dream. I mean, there are great courses out there, but yeah, I mean, there are also lots of other cool resources. Was this video productive? No, uh, but I do think that it is important that people continue to talk about the realistic aspects of this industry. Um, there's just, there's so much more nuance than I think a lot of influencers want to portray. So if you find this useful, you're welcome to sign up for my own course. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to do that. Uh, well, hopefully you found this video uh, useful in some way. And if not, you know what to do. So uh, thanks and have a good day.